The Toronto Rock fell in the back half of the home and home series with the Calgary Roughnecks. It was another slow start for the home side, trailing by five at the end of the third. Once again, the comeback was on, but it was just a little bit too late, falling 11 to 10. Tonight, it's the unboxed debut right here in Laval. It's the Rock and the Riptide. These teams have met up once already this season. It was way back on December 30th in Rock City. It was an offensive outburst by the Rock, winning 14-8 to take game one. Last weekend, the Riptide pushed their winning streak to four in a row. The first half is one they'd like to completely wash away, trailing the San Diego Seals 7-2. The second half was a completely different story, as they held the Seals just to one goal and came all the way back for a 10-8 victory. Shining the spotlight on the players to watch for the New York Riptide, it's Jeff Teat. Teat is one of the NLL's most dangerous threats. His lacrosse IQ and great playmaking ability keep defenses on their heels. His shooting accuracy is a goalie's worst nightmare. In New York's four-game winning streak, Teat has taken off, notching 16 goals, 17 assists for 33 points. The Rock will certainly have to close off all the time and space Teat has to end the Riptide's four-game winning streak. Looking at the other side for your Toronto Rock, it's bang bang, Corey Small. Small is having another excellent season in blue. In last weekend's loss to Calgary, Small put the offense on his back, scoring five goals. So far this season, the St. Catharines Ontario native has 21 goals and 10 helpers for 31 points. The Rock will look to Corey to continue the trend of filling the back of the net here tonight. Here we go, Rock City. It's time to rebound and take the season series from the Riptide. It's a special one here tonight in Laval. Make sure you have your TV set to TSN at 7 p.m. to catch all the action for the NLL Game of the Week.